Hi YouTube, today I'm just going to show you how to create a flight plan in Flight Simulator X. Um, me and James are going to be following this one. Um, maybe tomorrow? Not sure. Anyway, so you go, in, you go uh, into Flight Planner. Then you click on select. Select the either type of the, room, the airport name that you want to go from. We'll put it in the airport ID. Now I'm going to select from Edwards and then put in the destination. This is just an example one that we're going to be following tomorrow. Then put IFR because you want to be able to use the autopilot unless you want to fly it by looking out, like by manually flying, or if you want to do it with the autopilot, use that. Then click find route. If I click on to the destination, then the first one, <coughs> you can see I start off there. So what I want to do is, before I turn down there, I want to put it so that I can go like, I'm gonna find an example. But yeah, just go from there to to there. Click at the intersection. If you want, you can like make it a smoother turn by going like there, there. There, 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 or like to there and then down. But I'm just going to leave that like that because it will turn to follow it. Then find the runway <coughs> of the destination thing. But I'm going to go to there because I'm going to make like a turn as I start to come in. It's like. I go there. Just gonna put that one. Don't really know which one that is for yet. But I should have checked. Yeah, that one will bring me straight into that thing, but before we can actually select it, we need to go to the one right up to the runway. This that one there tells me that I'm starting to come into the bit where I need to be no higher than two thousand feet. <clears throat> I'm normally at about 1,000 before then, but then you just, it just comes into that course. So it like goes there, down, there, there, and then to the one just before the runway, and then I'm going to go down. Then <clears throat> you, if you want to, you could like drag it, say there. Oops. Like, and it'll select like waypoint one. But I want to follow the intersections because they, I know for a fact that's going to be what I'm going to use perfectly. And then you select cruising height. Um, <coughs> let's choose, wait, before you select a height, I recommend going into the nav log, navigation log, and just seeing. On there how long it is that's how long it is 88.9 nautical miles so it's 90 90 miles <clears throat> so that's given height for the terrain and all that I'm gonna go up higher it might be a mis actually I'm gonna leave it at 12,000 so that seems like an alright thing. You can go higher if it's like <clears throat> a few hundred, then you can definitely go to like 31,000 feet or something. But I'm keeping it low on this one. Then you click OK. <clears throat> It'll call it the save thing. Just put whatever you want to call it. But because me and James are gonna both going to be using this, I'm going to call this 12 thousand feet because we've got, we're both going to be doing it so you could just click save the way it is but because we're both going to be using it we want to use like his one to be like a slightly different height <clears throat> just click save click yes and you've got it set up but if you go back into it don't click find route again 
go to edit if you want to change it because otherwise <coughs> it'll like want you to start again and if you want to delete any intersections and click delete I think you can I I don't know because I don't use edit waypoint but I think that's only for like if you have made one like dragging it off not into an intersection but that's it for this video guys thanks for watching I'm gonna go fly this now I'm gonna start the next video so see ya for now <coughs>